MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Texas Rangers and the Boston Red Sox. The Bo Sox are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Chris Sale, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He will lead this one off Leading today. Off the afternoon for Texas, the shortstop, Elvis Andrus. Here it comes now to Andrus. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Matty, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Another 1 2 delivery. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Hit back up the middle, fielded cleanly, and that's out number one. Got it, second. A chance now to look at the batting order for the visiting Rangers. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, you have to love the thump that Joey Gallo is providing at the plate right now. He's slugging over 550 on the season. A lot of home runs, a lot of doubles. That's elite power. That's elite slugger territory. Not a lot of guys in the game get to that territory, even some of the really good ones. In there, 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And it's fouled away. The one, two. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Looked to be a pitch that caught a lot of the plate right there, so that might be a little indication of the strike zone we can expect the rest of the way. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll enter play with that batting average, still shy of the 220 mark. Three homers, 10 RBIs. Now the 1 0. Swung on but fouled off to the left. The 1 1. That ball so let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. 
I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Man, he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. Mike Miner, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Striding into the box, Andrew Benintendi. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Lead of the off. first. For the Red Sox. The left field. Now here's the pitch. Andrew. Grounded to third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty, and that brings up the outfielder Alex Verdugo. First pitch coming, here it is. Count Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, they've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team has definitely been struggling recently, and then you get a look up right now, and you're going to face the ace. Somebody has to step up for this team. I'll tell you what, if they're able to score a few early runs off him and put him on the defensive, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team. The 1-1. One, one. Misses ball two. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. One out, nobody on. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. J.D. Martinez waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Santana comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. Miner is ready. Here's the first pitch. In on the hands a bit with the fastball. It's 1-0. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Hit sharply on the ground. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Now this gets all the way to the wall. Throw into second, not in time, and he's in there with a double. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. And that brings in Xander Bogarts as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. Martinez at second with two down. And he takes strike two.
Here's the 0 2. Ball one. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. This is foul right side. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. To two balls and two strikes now. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he fouls this one off. Two and two. Here it is. Pitch popped up. Number 16 in foul ground. And no one will track it down. The 2-2 two -two pitch. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this will get down and make its way to the monster for extra bases. To second now, but he's safe as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Every manager and every pitcher in the league loves to play with an early lead, and they've got one here. Back-to-back -back doubles put them up by a run with the opportunity to stretch the lead here with another dangerous hitter set to step up. Here now is Rafael Devers as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Ready with the 0 and 1. And there's ball one. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. Fouled away. Here's the one two in the dirt here but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now he drops a change up on him strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh my goodness. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Stepping up now, Joey Gallo. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Joey Gallo. First pitch on its way. Ball one. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Verdugo waits on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. That is good. The catcher. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff is should be your focus. To the plate now, Robinson Chirinos. The swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. 
Still struggling at the plate with an average well under 200. Four home runs and 11 RBIs. The wind up and the 0 1. And he comes back with one that misses here, and it's one and one to the Ranger backstop. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Red Sox on top in the early going, one nothing as we play the second. Popped him up. Devers over to his right. And he makes the catch for the second out. At the plate, Danny Santana. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike taken up in the zone. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. A ball and a strike now. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Fooled by the speed and location of that one. It's two and two. I mean, this offense has gotten some ugly swings off early. This pitcher is on point right now. He is mixing and matching, and everything's working. Here now the 2 2. It is looked at, and the count moves full. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. Seven. The second baseman. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnit Odor. From the belt, the pitch that's popped up. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in, and he'll reach first safely. Hey, they're not all beautiful. They don't all have to be. Just throwing a lawn dart over the third baseman's head right there. Beautiful piece of hit. Here's Todd Frazier now, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. And he takes a cold strike one. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. Rangers leave a pair. It remains one nothing. Striding in for Boston, Kevin Pillar. In his career against Mike Miner, he's hitless in three at bats. Kevin. Here's the first pitch to him. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. J 
just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Miner isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable I'm sure he just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V I'm not sure it's this guy's fault but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. Fouled off. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. He'll try again one two. All two. And two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Gallo moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now with the play, Christian Vasquez. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. First delivery to him on the way. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. That evens it up, one and one. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Good pitch, and I think he locked him up, but he wasn't rewarded for it this time. Now the three and two pitch. Count remains full. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And it's fouled away. Here's a high pop up. Odor waits on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone and Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. Minor into the windup. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch is piling up 44 and he's not clear of the second yet. Changes up on him but that's in the dirt for revolve. Not a great spot to be in right here 2 and 0 but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously a bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Hey. Slider taken for a cold strike 2 and 1. Ah. 2 and 2. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down but if you can locate upstairs like that it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Bobby Dahlbeck would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Bases are empty here with two men out. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. A door is there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. We play two innings. It's one to nothing.
next will be the designated hitter Garcia and he'll start out their half of the third top of the order to follow ready to deliver here's the first pitch a ball and no strikes a ball and a strike the one one is laid off for ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And oh, he thought he'd work the walk, but it's a cold strike two now. Hit hard back up the middle. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with one gone, time for a check of the standings to see where the Red Sox place in the American League East. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrus. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. One out, nobody on. That's and this is high, a ball and a strike. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. Swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double digit Ks. And it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. At the plate now, number 16. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, that's low. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes now. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Lifted down the line in left, and that will end up a foul ball. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Rangers set down in order. They still trail 1-0. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up. And he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Digging in, Bobby Dahlbeck as we move on to the bottom Digging of inning number three. The, Red Sox. the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. First pitch on its way. Ball one, no strike. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Ball. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2-0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Into the corner and slicing foul. Into the windup. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. A 
Oh, and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. Gone! So that's his first home run in the big leagues, and it's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget. Well, there's no doubt about that, Matt. People ask him 50 years from now who he hit it off of and what stadium he was playing in, and he'll remember it all. Heck, he'll probably remember what kind of pitch it was, too. Hopefully he can get the ball back so that can go in his trophy case forever. Handed hitting Andrew oh, Benintendi stands in. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside Andrew. part of the plate for strike Benny, one. Benny. Second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. The wind up and the 0 1. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Pitch on the way. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Making him sweat out there, the seventh pitch coming up. This one's down to third. Frazier is there. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now back. So the base is empty here with one away, and that brings up the outfielder Alex Verdugo. First delivery to him on the way. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fouls this one off. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Here's J.D. Martinez. As he'll follow one into the dirt and come up empty for the first strike. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And that misses one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and two strikes now. Slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. We played three full. It's now 2 0 Boston. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Willie Calhoun. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here comes the first pitch. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The pitch. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone.
One ball and two strikes the count. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Fouled away. The one two. Fouled off. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Time now for the Red Sox road to the show report as we get a look at two guys making some noise in the upper minors. Here's Joey Gallo now. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And the pitch. Nope. Ball one. We got one ball, one strike. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The wind up and the 0-1. One and one. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the time run of the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. And he missed again, high and away this time. Three and one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Fastball too high, ball four. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Stepping into the box, Danny Santana. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing and one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And it's fouled away. Two out with the man at first. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Ani pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Chavis has it, and the side is retired. One left for Texas. They're down two to nothing. to go in the bottom of the fourth and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball Xander Bogarts one of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings sends that one out of play for strike one into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone Count is one and two now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here we go. 
swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Santana will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Rafael Devers. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. On its way is pitch number 75. Oh, that's down. The 1 0 home. Swing and a line drive. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 3 10 sign on the monster. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Let's slow this one down and take another look. Great camera angle here. Looking straight down the left field line. You see him take that inside route to the ball. His hands stay back, and he goes oppo to find himself at second. Ranger Skipper is up off his seat in the dugout now to make the walk to the mound. And that'll be all now for Mike Miner. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Johander Mendez answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Into the box now, Kevin Pillar, and he fouls this one off. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Sinker misses, and it's 1 and 2 now. Chopper to short. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. And don't forget, on a ball thrown out of play, the rule says that the runner gets the base he was running to, plus one more. Stepping into the box, Christian Vasquez. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruise shin or a ground out to the left side. Count even at two and two. Outside in a full count, three and two. Payoff pitch home. Popped him up. Odor is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So here's Michael Chavis now. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Has a look. Now the pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Red Sox settle for just the one. We played four full. It's the Red Sox three, and the Rangers nothing. Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. 
Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said that they're playing right into the pitcher's game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often. Instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with, they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone, which is resulting in a lot of their outs. Going forward, they have to start being more selective, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Thanks. The second baseman, Root Ned O'Doul. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Root Ned O'Doul is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. The pitch. Three balls, two strikes. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground, reined in. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now that Leadoff man third retired. Third. Here's the third baseman, Todd Frazier. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball well outside. No runs, just one hit and one error in the ballgame for the Rangers. Lays off again and it's 2 0. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east west than to have you call that high fastball. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Good spot for the change there and that'll knock things up at two and two. This is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Owen won the count. Fouled away. Here it comes. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They trail in this one, three nothing. Digging in to try it again. Bobby Dahlbeck. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right hander are throwing down there. The 1 0. Hey. Ah. 
The ball and two strikes. That misses and we're even at two and two. The pitch. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Well somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Odor has a play one down. And that'll bring up the left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. A couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Oh, and two, the counts of Benintendi. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Chirinos recovers and he makes the throw to first. Benintendi is retired two down now. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Two out nobody on. Outside for a ball, one and one. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. This pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. Line toward the alley in left center, and that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. And that means JD Martinez gets to it with two outs as well. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. He set and the pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. This is why pitching is so difficult. You're cruising along to give up a hit. Now you've got to lock in and get this middle part of the order done. <laughs> line drive, base hit down the line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might have been foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good looking swing. Here's Xander Bogarts now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the 1 0. Second and third, two away. Able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Ball 
three. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Called strike, and that'll run it full. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Boston strands a couple, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that Matt. they've been completely overmatched to this point one hit through five innings. I mean what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Here it comes now to Andres. Liner toward right center. And this is going to find the gap and roll toward the bullpen for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, the pitcher can't really worry about that one. I mean, it was only their second hit of the game, so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave him out there now. Into the box, number 16, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Oh, good spot on the black for strike two. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. The 0 2 delivery. That misses 1 and 2. A runner at second, nobody out. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit on the ground to short. Bogarts has it. And there's one away. Digging in, Willie Calhoun over two for him to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Uh, couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0 1. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown the first pitch strike to. 1 and 1 to count. So look now the pitch and it's one and two one ball two strike. runner at second here with one man out popped him up under it is Bogarts and there are two away now so that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. For the current campaign, Gallo carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Fouled off. 
two out here and a runner at second. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired. Rangers leave one. They trail it here three to nothing. Rafael Devers the next to bat. He hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in A.B. maybe once a game maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. Ready for another shot now. Kevin Pillar. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. First pitch of the at bat on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First offering on its way. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right hander's begun to warm up out there. Pitch is popped up. Number 16 is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Takes just four pitches to retire the Red Sox. They lead it three to nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll, and now it'll be the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a swing through on an off speed pitch. Looked like he was actually a little late on that one. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. One and one to Chirinos. One and one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. At the plate, Danny Santana. And there's out number two. Now that second base. So here's the left-handed bat of Rugnit Odor. One for two on his line so far in the game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. 1 and 1 the count now. Here it comes. 2-1. Could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. 
so far this has been a terrific outing for this guy throwing well keeping his pitches to a minimum locating his fastball to both sides of the plate good command of the off speed pitches very little traffic on the bases so far he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one and the throw to first will indeed get him it's a strikeout score at two to three and the inning is over so they breeze through this half of the inning seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark Boston's out in front three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the Three inning, off. and standing well, in is the off. power hitting second the baseman, second baseman, Michael Chavis. Michael. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. Oh, and one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana is there, and he has it for the first out. Bobby Dahlbeck will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Now here's the pitch. One out, nobody on. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And it's fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back, off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues, you have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. In now, Andrew Benintendi. Let's still watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. He doesn't look like the same reliever right now but listen this is his fourth inning of work and there are very many relievers that can go four plus innings and be rock solid all the way through. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Red Sox go down one two three but they lead it three nothing. Into the box, Todd Frazier, no hits to this point. The third baseman, Todd Frazier. First offering on its way. Counts one and oh. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Bogarts has it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Garcia, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch of the at bat. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. 
softly hit toward the hole. And quickly there are two away. Now batter. At the plate, Elvis Andrews. Elvis. He doubled his Elvis. last time through. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Here it comes now to Andrews. Hey. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. He's got it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Rangers set down in order. Still down three nothing. Jesse Chavez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 30. Jesse Chavez. Striding in, Alex Verdugo. Last time through was a base hit. The right field. Alex. First pitch on its way. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. High strike there, and it's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the two one pitch. It's a fastball taken high for a ball. Well, ball three there, and you know the Sox would love to start an inning. Hey, a leadoff walk would be a great thing right now. Hard on the ground towards short, and Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there, below the name. Offensive player was all over. To the plate now, J.D. Martinez, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. On to first, and they turn the double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Base is empty now after the double play. And stepping up is the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. Now here's the pitch. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Now look out as this one sends him sprawling. It's ball two now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Three and oh now. If I'm managing this hitter right here he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. No doubt about this one. It's in there. Three and one. Hey. And it's up to a three two full count now. Three balls, two strikes. Hey. 
full count still. And this is taken for a ball. They walked him. And the Sox have themselves a two-out base runner. Now back, the third baseman. Into the box now, Rafael Devers. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball grounded toward Odor at second. Scooped up. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for the Red Sox, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Coming to the plate now, number 16. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. First pitch of the at-bat. I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Pilar's there makes the play one away. In now Willie Calhoun. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. First offering on its way. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Bases are empty, one man out. Two and zero. The count to the Rangers' left fielder. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 and 0 especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike 3 and 0 to him now. And now pitch on the way. There's ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Here comes the first pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Joey Gallo with a two run shot number 11 for him on the season and the Rangers have come back to cut this to a three to two ball game now. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat being shut out all game but not anymore. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And he's going to make a change as that'll be all for his starter, Chris Sale. 
So a good job all in all this afternoon and as it stands he can only win this one as he departs with a one run lead. Brandon Workman answers the call from dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Stepping in now, Robinson Chirinos. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball one. One and two to the Rangers catcher. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Still only one out in the inning. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. Great day's work any way you look at it. Hey, Matty V, you know when you've got really good stuff, you look down at that strikeout total. Double-digit strikeouts in this one. He had swing and miss stuff right from the beginning. At the plate now, Danny Santana. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Too far out in front that time. You can't keep it fair. 2 and 1. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. What an unbelievable at bat right there in the ninth inning game on the line to get yourself on base to create an opportunity for your boy right here to be a hero. Matt Duffy will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number six. Matt Duffy. A ball and no strikes. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. The runner, runner, one -oh home. runner goes. Pitch misses the throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. This catcher's not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out at second. Here's the 2 0. 3 0 now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. 3 1. Swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first and the Red Sox will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Wow, that's eight wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. The Red Sox jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. 
Chris Sale with his fourth win this season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Mike Miner couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and a 